that entrepreneurship is a pathway to building wealth, and I agree with you that that's especially for these second chance entrepreneurs. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Senator Booker, thank you for your leadership on that. We are really working with the SBA to be able to, to provide the special attention to returning citizens on entrepreneurship opportunities. And uh, we're making progress. The Biden administration has been pretty strong on this. So thank you for your leadership on this. Yeah, issue. thank you very much. Senator Hickenlooper. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we would be remiss if we didn't wish Senator Booker a birthday. Probably you already did right. that. I wanted to make Happy sure birthday. that we did recognize him. I don't know if anybody wants to sing. And, I, I would prefer not, uh, but and, uh, I appreciate that. You may not know this. Uh, your birthday present to him was allow him to jump over you because you were here earlier than he was. So I gave him your birthday present. Well, that's a nice gift, although then I only get one question because I have to go preside. So I'm, gonna, no, no. I'm on a tight schedule. So I now, now my gift to him is give him a little guilt, which for Corey, he will clear to his breast. I want to ask you a quick question. And I, you know, you have to be concise. I will put my other three questions into the record. Okay. First, I want to thank you. When you come to Colorado, it makes a huge difference, and your team has been remarkable. Uh, the benefits uh, that you, the, the the barriers that you got over in terms of the Marshall Fire and really helping adjust, and really, this affects people's lives in real time who have lost, in many cases, everything they own. Over a thousand houses were lost. And I wanted to ask a little bit about the disaster loans that uh, really are a lifeline for, for, for survivors. Um, modernizing how the SBA estimates um, building costs is a great first step, and that's something we've now, I think we've, we're all together on, but uh, I think we also have to look at how do we update the borrowing limits uh, to reflect the median price of a home that is more than doubled in the 28 years since uh, loan limits were last reset. So I guess what is the plan? Uh, how do we update the disaster loan assistance home and personal property loan maximums to account for that nearly 30 years of inflation? Uh, thank you. Thank you for that question and your leadership for the community impacted by the Marshall Fire. We've so far supported uh, over 100 million loans now, uh, and we see the impact was huge. Uh, we were you know, pleased to be able to do what we could do administratively to change the way that we estimate and, and have also changed the process so going forward uh, you know, we can move more quickly uh, so that we can help borrowers at the inception uh, with accuracy. Uh, we, we are looking at those levels, and uh, as I've uh, shared with you in our conversations, uh, we will be exploring whether or not we can increase those limits uh, for the borrowers uh, and, and uh, explore that uh, subsidy impact for the future. Well, I want to... I, I have more questions. I'll put it in the record. Um, but the one thing I've learned is you cannot, if, if, if Dick Durbin is anywhere around the Senate floor, you cannot be late for when you're presiding or there will, there will be payments to be made. Uh, again, I want to thank you so much for you. have really done a great job with the, the, the morale. And I, every time I meet someone from the SBA, I uh, really feel rewarded. That, and, and I feel you, sh you should feel the reward of that effort and time that obviously you're putting in is really having material results. So thank, thank you for you. that. Thank you. I yield back to the chair. Thank you. Senator Markey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman.